Hello guys. What's up, what's up? Where are you from? Uh, from Australia. From Australia. Yeah. What brings you here in such uh, tur uh, turbulent uh, times? I think... Uh, you have you have guts, because of uh, n not much uh, foreigners uh, uh, so brave to, to visit this place. I'm doing a jiu-jitsu seminar to raise money for Ukraine. Oh yeah, thank you, it's very important for us, yeah. You know why, because of uh, Russia is a huge monster and uh, Ukraine is a big country, but uh, it, is in, so it is uncomparable with uh, uh, huge Russia, yeah. Yeah, yeah so we're here to show to our friends, what's happening in Ukraine? Visit. Yeah, it is very important. Yeah, very course. important because of uh, in the world, a lot of uh, people who uh, don't consider this war as a uh, threat for them. So I think uh, Russia is a threat for the whole uh, mankind yeah, in course. any way for civil civilized. Um, very scary. Yeah. But good to be here, though. We're very excited. Yeah, to be and here. So beautiful are, city. Are there? Uh, residents of uh, Australia who don't consider this war is dangerous for them because of us, Australia is quite far. Many, a lot of yeah. yeah. That's why we're here to show. Yes, mm. guys, it's it's very you do very important job for us because of uh, all people in any in any way democratic world have to know that Russia is uh, is uh, danger for all of us. We'll keep for our word for sure. Joint home. Yeah. yeah, thank you for supporting Ukraine and good luck. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, nice thank to you for having us. Uh, now I am in Maidan in the and uh, I encountered uh, this uh, fellow. What's your name? Where are you My from? My name is Tahasid Digen. I'm from Pakistan. From Pakistan? Yes. Uh, what brings you here? Ukraine is a very beautiful country and uh, the Ukrainian people are very friendly. They are very uh, like uh, they don't have any bad things. They are very good people. But uh, uh, I'd like to uh, ask you, mm -hmm. uh, Pakistan is a country which is quite far uh, away from Ukraine and yes. there are not much uh, people from Pakistan mm -hmm. visit uh, yep. uh, mm -hmm. like you. And uh, uh, what about your fellow countrymen? Do they understand, do they realize what is uh, this war about? Do they know a lot about this war? Basically, the students from Pakistan, from India, from different countries, they came here for a study and for visits. Uh, about war, that war has changed lots of things. And uh, those students who were studying in Ukraine, medical students, like uh, engineering students, they have moved to another countries like in Europe. And some students, they have moved to their home countries. And uh, they were very concerned about war because it's a very another type of thing. They scared mm -hmm. because they feel in a war country. So they have moved. But some students and some uh, st uh, people, they have not moved. They are living here. They are no, no, doing yeah, 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 I see. Thank you. But uh, I'd like to know what people in Pakistan mm -hmm. think about uh, this war. Do mm -hmm. they understand what, what is going on here in Ukraine? Or mm -hmm. just they are indifferent to this war? No, because in Pakistan they have a different situation. In Ukraine they have a different situation. So not most of the people think about this. Every people has different thinking. Yes, yes, yeah. yes it, it is clear. Yeah. And uh, it would be not bad if you uh, uh, if you uh, explain people mm -hmm. what is going on here, yeah. because of support uh, from any country, from all countries, is very important for mm -hmm. us. Because we are peaceful country, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, Ukraine is a very peaceful country. Peaceful country, but uh, Russia, it is a huge uh, mm -hmm. military monster, mm -hmm. uh, broke into our home, mm -hmm. and uh, they wanna to kill us. So mm -hmm. we need uh, any support of any kind financial, just moral support, mm -hmm. any kind of support. Mm -hmm. So, uh, thank you for mm -hmm. your understanding mm -hmm. of what... Because what I am, I have been living here for five years and I am staying here, so I understand everything. I know Ukraine is a very peaceful country yeah. and everything is very good here. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. What's your name again? Tahasid Digi. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much.
Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm Sergei uh, from Kiev. And where are you from? What's your name? I'm America. My name's Jamie Price. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, excuse me, what brings you here in such uh, turbulent times? I have been here since March of 2022. Very soon. And then I went back a couple of times. I brought things back over. But it was because in 1992, I actually worked in Moscow and Kiev. So I'm used to coming back here. And uh, I think that Ukrainian people are amazing people. I've been able to help with the army, and I've also been able to help uh, in, uh, with civilians, especially in the Bucha area. So it's been uh, great for me. And now I'm back almost permanently. I have an apartment here in Kyiv, and I'm staying here. But I go to, I just came back from Odessa and Kyrgyzstan, and I'm going to go to uh, uh, tomorrow. Where am I going tomorrow? I'm going somewhere tomorrow. Oh, I always go with don't, don't my army Don't keep it secret. Don't, don't tell me where. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I go to where the army. I go, uh, I have army friends, and I, I go to see them and bring them things, and, you know, I do things with them. So. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your support for backing for backing us, but I know that uh, the most of uh, Americans uh, stand for Ukraine, but uh, I think uh, some uh, over mistakes will be will be gone. Well, soon. it's the Republicans again, and do you think about it, uh, what they've done in their in their past? I mean, the Republicans have been not good. I mean, it's uh, that's the way they are. Um, they're dividing our country right now. Um, and it, they're, they're, I don't know, I, they're very weak individuals is what they are. And they, they want to take over our country. And uh, hopefully the people and the young people will see it and it won't happen. But to me, the Ukraine's important. It's important for your democracy, and it's important because of who your people are. And I, I just think it's fantastic. And I love this city. This is my favorite city. My favorite city is yes. also. I am uh, originally from Donetsk, Eastern Eastern. Yeah, oh, I know. Ukraine, yeah, but yeah. Now, uh, my uh, small motherland is, is uh, Kiev. Right. Not the whole well, I'm going to Kharkiv. Um, that's where I'm going this weekend. Oh, Kharkiv is a, I know, I have to go, I have to do some things with my army, um, with them, and um, uh, I'm going to take, I always do videos, I always do things, I always send them back to tell Americans, because Americans are stupid, what they don't understand is, they don't l learn history and they don't learn geography. So, I mean, I had people ask me where Ukraine was when it started up. I've had people, when I went back the last time, ask me if the war was over. Because they only get two minutes on the news about it. So, and everything now is about Israel, but it should be about this country, because this country is fighting for democracy against our number one enemy. The number one enemy in the world is Russia to us. Yeah, yes. Yes, and to you. Absolutely agree yeah. with you. And one more, the last question. Uh, how did you spend uh, last, last uh, night? Where have you been? Oh, I was, last night I was, uh, well, when the, uh, when the um, you know, the air raid sirens went off at 321, and I went to the window of my apartment, and I videoed some what of was, the sound. Sorry, what, what hotel? Well, they were the uh, they were shooting down the uh, rockets. Huh. It was it lasted almost three hours before the all clear, and I have that on a video, and I put a couple of the articles on there, and I'll be putting it on Facebook, so people will see that this is constant here, constant here. When I was in Odessa, they had the rockets and it killed 21 people. And the Americans just don't, you know, don't understand that the deaths here are constant, constant, constant. Every day. Every day. Every day. day. Every day. Every day. So, it's horrible. So uh, I know what uh, the war is uh, because of uh, I'm inside of this war right. for more than 10 years. Right. A bit less than 10 years. Well, it started in 2014. Yeah. Yes, it did. Yeah. I know when they went into Crimea. I know the history. I know the history. So I'm a, I have... Um, my Irish and then Eastern European is my thing. I have, I have 25% Eastern European. In it, so. So, yeah. I wish you health and uh, prosperity. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you for. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very thank much you. also. I appreciate it.